Good evening everyone from Lawrenceville, Georgia. We're at Cool Ray Stadium, home of the Gwinnett Stripers. Formerly the Richmond Braves, this is the Triple A affiliate of the Atlanta Braves. This is our first time out at this stadium, and tonight is Star Wars night. There's an Inquisitor and Stormtroopers patrolling the crowd. It appears the Inquisitor is with Rex. And the gates have opened. Walter well, Fett back there. We've made our way in. Bunch of autograph stuff. Autographed items, replica rings. Oh my god, it's Darth Vader. And the Jaw is literally taller than this stormtrooper. This is amazing. Starting bid 500 bucks. Baseball signed by Smoltz, Glavin, and Maddox. Oh my goodness, this character's everywhere. The Mandalorian is here. Stormtroopers. And baseball. And hey, this stadium is beautiful. Look at that berm out there. Let's take a walk around. Got the team store, we'll hit that on the way back. Slowport tap room. And they've got their own beers. And food, and oh my goodness, they've got a knuckle sandwich for Phil Negro. Starting lineups. Starting pitchers. Food vendors, feeding frenzy. This is for the all-you-can-eat tickets, which they do sell. I think it's like 29 bucks. Literally all-you-can-eat hot dogs, hamburgers, popcorn, soda, stuff like that. And here is Flashpoint Grill, burgers, dogs, chicken. Here's the view from the first base side. And we passed these buildings on the way in. It's very similar to the actual Brave Stadium downtown or towards downtown. Tourist Park, if you will, at the Battery, where you can live right next to the stadium. And over here, you can live right next to the AAA Stadium. September 17th, they've got a Max Free giveaway. Bobblehead, sweet stuff, ice cream, funnel cakes. Got a little bounce house, picnic area. And you got these tables out here. And all of this standing room over here for foul balls. Oh my goodness, this is like foul ball promised land. Got some warm up areas here. And look at these views. Oh my goodness, May 21st, you can meet Peppa Pig here. Let's see if we can walk all the way around. It looks like you can. From here, you can get a perfect view. Bullpen area. On the Jumbotron, they've got Star Wars trivia going on. And check out these apartments. You can literally look right from there and see every game. Trivia, and over here, more apartments. But these guys have a pool there's seats in the pool that face out to the game. A little bathroom area back here. More seating. Is this the best seat of the game? I wish they made Coke in those size bottles. Look at this picnic area. And I apologize for the wind. This guy's got the life. He's got a hammock up there overlooking the game. More kids stuff down the left field line. You know, all these standing and bar tables here. I love it. There's just perfect opportunity to catch balls. My seat tonight is down that way. And right behind me is Dippin' Dots and Cheesesteaks. There's like luxury seats up above too, and box seats. And from what I've seen online, this is a new booth this year. Local barbecue. All the fixings. You can get a barbecue plate for 16 bucks or a half rack of ribs for 12 are being polite. Now let's make a round into a slow pour. There's seating in here. How much does a Chewbacca costume weigh? I'm gonna say 12 pounds. It's eight. Oh. All right, we got the beer nerds, fruited sour. One moment of truth. It's 
delicious. It's like drinking a Sour Patch beer. All right, this is the view from the cheap seats tonight. I gotta be honest, seats like 20 bucks. And I'm in the second row right above the dugout. And I went with a barbecue dinner. Chicken, mac and cheese, coleslaw. The fruit is delicious. The chicken tastes like it's smoked all the way through. They play all the current hits. And those are the future stars. Oh, we've got somebody in Carbonite. The mascot is in Carbonite. It's a chopper of the groundhog. So I tried some onion rings as well from the barbecue place. Not as good as the barbecue. Still good, just not as good. The Star Wars inspired jerseys that they're wearing tonight are being auctioned off as well. Money going to charity. And so by the way, the Stripers taking on the Charlotte Knights tonight. Triple A affiliate of the Chicago White Sox. Pitch of the game is a strike. Turn two. Struck him out. Three up, three down. Now we have got koozie giveaways. I'm more excited for Carbonite Chopper. Striper strand runners on first and third. It's like a made up player in MLB. They don't have a picture for him. Just the shadow outline. Two outs. Two strikes, two balls, and a dinga! Oh! It literally landed in an apartment! Right on the patio. Love it! Of a bet, Delino the Shield, son of Delino the Shields. And it's a full count for Delino, son of Delino. Hogs it up. Drops. What a crazy throw. It's like watching Little League. Hard grand balls and strikes. And getting thrown out of the game. Stone Trooper patrolling. Be on the outfield wall. Another stinger dinger. A stinger dinger. It's a second home run, dude. Of course, I got the name wrong. It's Striper. Oh, not, not Stinger. But there goes a Striper Stinger dinger. Striper Stinger dinger. It's raining home runs. All right, let's take a time out and go see what kind of merch they got. Rally towels. Shirts. More shirts. Fancy shirts. You're gonna have a hard time catching any baseballs with no hands. Helmets. Walkers. Regular Braves merch. Oh, nice warm-up shirts. And hats, hats, hats. I like these striper jerseys and the sleeve. Kind of in the Braves fashion. Opposing club. Down five to one now. Stripers with runners on the corners. Oh, he dropped the ball. Oh my good lord, dude. And that's all for the starting pitcher for the Charlotte Knights. They're showing a very old commercial for Book of Boba Fett for some reason. 
got a wave going on. We just retired the side. Here comes the wave. We're very lackadaisical here. And it's done. Great. Do you like number eight or do you like number eight? Chopper has been freed out of his carbonate. Reeling in relay time. Six one strapers moving around a bit for a different vantage point. Now over here by first. Such a great view, I think the further up you get. Ooh, smack that ball. Late innings of the game. Up by a significant amount. A lot of fans have failed. Who gets the ball here? Nice. Got a lefty at bat too. Let's see. Could be getting a foul ball over this way. Nope. Well, I am back in the hotel after the game. That was a lot of fun. Really awesome stadium. And uh, for AAA, uh, prices were reasonable ticket for the game and this was a spur of the moment type of thing by the way so um, ticket for the game was 20 bucks um, the food platter that I got was $16 um, the beer I can't remember how much it was but brewery on site barbecue place on site um, great fan interaction Star Wars night I was surprised to see so many seats empty but then again um, they're I think the second closest triple a affiliate to their major league associate that we have in baseball today uh, meaning the braves uh where they play m major league baseball um truest park i want to say it's probably like less than it's either like 30 to 40 minutes away from where the minor league team is playing which is kind of odd because you're kind of bastardizing the crowd that would come out uh, but tons of kids very family friendly place I love checking out minor league baseball places. We did a video at the Tortugas again, uh, which is the closest to us in Daytona Beach, and we've loved the Tortugas forever, the single A club for the Reds, uh, but uh, I just never posted it. And, uh, you know, we'll get back out to major league games also, so I think we've got a run coming up with the Mets season in town for the Marlins, and we'll get out to the Rays again too. But for now, we're going to get out of here, so thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.